Hello, in this short video I'll be showing you how to uh, create a SESM bill within QS Pro. So let's start. So we're just going to kick off uh, QS Pro. I'm going to create a new bill, file new bill, and let's call this uh, bill 8. Okay, so what you can see here is that uh, I've happen to have a SESM library in the bottom half of the screen so I need to change that to a I've got an SMM7 library in the bottom half I need to change it to a SESM library so I click view lower grid and click on library and I want to choose the SESM library so I choose SESM open that now the other thing that we need in SESM is a is a field called a secondary code and this by default isn't displayed so let's go ahead and display that so I click on this uh, select on screen layout button where I've got all of the possible items that can be displayed I scroll down to secondary code check the box OK secondary code appears on the far right hand side and I don't really want it there so I just click and drag let's say drag it to that position there OK I'm now ready to start building up the bill. So let's tr choose an item so let's go for for example earthworks and uh, let's say uh, excavation for foundations uh, let's say uh, topsoil uh, maximum depth and what you can see here is that uh, now I've got a measured item I've got a secondary code. you can add the quantity in in the normal way either just entering the number in the quantity column or you can double click and go through the uh, dimension editor so you could say 1, 2.5, whatever, 2.2, whatever the uh, the measurements are that uh, exist on your drawing and um, puts the measured item in there and now what I'll do is show you the uh, printing side now when you come to print you need to choose a SESM template so I'm going to choose the box one SESM template and the other thing is that the report style needs to be SESM because the report style needs to include the single and double underlines that are defined in the SESM spec so having chosen the SESM report style and a SESM template now click print and here you can see that I've got on this in, 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 I've got the secondary code displayed, I've got the single underline underneath the level naught and I've got a double underline underneath the measured item. So that was pretty quick, uh, hopefully you can see how easy it is to create a SESM 4 bill. Thanks for watching.